Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Hi, welcome to ChineseClass11.com. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways to motivate yourself when learning Chinese. So for myself, I am living in Japan now, and I don't usually have motivation for studying Japanese. So I will try to motivate myself by imagining um, when I speak fluent Japanese, I look very cool, and I will buy some new book, and I will buy very cute stationery, cute book, very creative the stick it, post it right. I will buy creative post it. There's so many creative stationery in Japan. You will be amazed. So I will use different ways to motivate myself to learn Japanese. So today I'm gonna motivate you. I'm gonna share with you ten ways to motivate yourself. When learning Chinese, learning language is not easy. So, 加油！我想象着有一天我会游览或住在中国。I imagine that one day I will visit or live in China. So, for my personal experience, when I came to Japan, I couldn't speak the language well. My life is quite miserable sometimes because you couldn't avoid misunderstanding. And where there is some misunderstanding, and you completely believe it's not your fault, but you make somebody angry, you couldn't explain yourself. That feels very difficult for me. That's the most difficult for, part for me, especially when you are living in Japan, because Japanese are kind of strict. Yeah. So, if you don't speak the language, even you don't speak the language well. Because they have respectful language, so you easily make people、um, feel mad or a miscommunication, misunderstanding. So, if you plan go to China one day, or you want to visit China, you want to enjoy China more, you better speak better Chinese for your own sake. So you could enjoy this country to the fullest extent, and you will get more friends, and you will get more fun for sure. 我也喜欢学习中国文化，这样使得学习中文变得更加有趣。I like to study the Chinese culture, so it gets more interesting in Chinese language studies. I still remember my strongest motivation for speaking English fluently. Directly is from watching the drama Friends and Sex and City, maybe because I want to speak like them and I want to understand the humor. I want to understand the culture behind the humor. So that makes me want study English harder at that time. Yeah, in my especially in my initial stage of English study. Find something in Chinese culture which interests you, so you could、um, use it as a motivation to study Chinese language. 我观看有代表性的中国菜的视频 I watch videos of typical Chinese cuisine. So if you can speak Chinese very well, you can watch so many videos where Chinese chef teach you how to. Cook authentic Chinese food because I know there are some famous Chinese dishes where you can order famous Chinese restaurant in foreign countries, which we Chinese do not even know, like orange chicken. Maybe <laughs> we do not really have this food in China. At least from my experience, I never see this dish called orange chicken in Chinese restaurant, but it is not bad. 我和说中文的人交朋友。I make friends with people who speak Chinese. So think about it. Chinese has the largest population in the world and all over the world. How convenient! How fun is that to speak to so many people to be able to communicate with so many different people, such a variety, all over the world. 
because not only Chinese speak Chinese, but Singapore, uh, Indonesia, in Malaysia, so you have many people who can speak Chinese. I think as a Chinese learner, maybe that could be the strongest motivation for you to learn. 我观看其他成功学习中文的人的网络视频。I watch internet videos of other people who have succeeded in learning Chinese. Personally, I never use this as my motivation because when I study started to study English, the internet hasn't been so popular as much as today. So on YouTube, many people are sharing their personal successful experience in picking up a language. So maybe you can learn from them and.、Uh, At least you can get some motivation from their experience in learning a language successfully. 在中国餐馆，我喜欢用中文点菜。I enjoy using Chinese to order in Chinese restaurants. I think it could be a very special benefit for learning Chinese. The special thing about Chinese restaurants, Chinese dishes which are available. In that Chinese restaurant, I'm not all reading in the menu, so that's why you can always see some Chinese guests once you're going to that restaurant, and they will order something which are not on the menu. So, please take advantage of your Chinese to order something to ask them something which is not on the menu. Maybe you will get luck to get that food. Yeah. From the other side, even it's not rating the restaurant, it's very common. So,、hmm, maybe for my guess, every Chinese restaurant has a secret menu, which is only for Chinese-speaking people, <laughs> or for the people who are familiar with Chinese dishes. 我大声地唱中文歌 I sing Chinese songs out loud. So for Chinese songs, I have my foreigner friends who. Feel really、uh, confused about how do we sing songs in Chinese? Because Chinese language have tones, four tones, but also when you sing, you have rhythm. So how do you combine it? How do you mix it? How do you make it even feel natural? How do you understand that? I don't know how to answer this question. It just comes very naturally. And we do not have any problem in singing Chinese songs, even it has tones. I guess when your Chinese language level get to an upper level or medium level, you will feel it's not a difficult thing to do. So don't feel intimidated by that. Don't let that become a barrier for you to learning Chinese songs. It's not that difficult. 我阅读中国的名言警句。I read Chinese motivation quotes. So with China, five thousand years of history, we have so many countless motivation quotes in every era. So enjoy it. Maybe you'll find another motivation among those quotations. 我观看中国的旅游景点的视频。I watch videos of tourist places in China. If you master Chinese, you get access to more videos about Chinese tourist places, so you could understand. You can watch more、um, videos regarding Chinese interesting places. 我挑战自己每天背十个中文单词 I challenge myself to memorize ten new words a day in Chinese. So, if you feel your life is too boring, and you want some find some challenge, you can find Chinese language learning as your challenge, because it's、uh, the system, the writing system, the grammar, grammatical system is different from English. You can find this as your challenge, and、uh, this will be definitely good for you to find a better career in your future. Okay, today I have shared with you ten ways to motivate yourself when learning Chinese. What is your way of motivating yourself to learn Chinese? Share it with us.
in the comments and I will check it out later. And、uh, thank you for watching today's ChineseClass11.com. Don't forget to subscribe ChineseClass11.